Hi everybody, Jay here. Uh, I've been threatening this for months, but I'm really, really happy that uh, tonight I am. I'm the dog is walking away in the background, so that's what the, the clicking you're hearing is. Uh, but I am happy that Meredith is back with me. Hello. And for the first time, we've got Victor here. Hi. So today we are talking about uh, a new game from Mojang and from Microsoft Game Studios. It is uh, Minecraft Dungeons, uh, and we have played it on the Xbox One. Uh, and Victor, you played it on the Switch as well, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you're playing on a Switch Lite, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's amazing. It is amazing. I, I, I love that little piece of hardware. What uh, Do you prefer it on the Xbox or the Switch so far? Um, for multiplayer, definitely the Xbox, but for single player, I like the Switch better. Okay. Now, the thing that I've really enjoyed about this game so far is that uh, we, we we finally have a Minecraft game that we can play together, which is pretty awesome, right? We could play Minecraft together, but I like combat games. We all like this one because it's more of a dungeon crawler, right? Yeah, it, it's definitely a dungeon crawler game. Yeah, Minecraft doesn't really connect with me, but this game, this game does. This has been a lot of fun, and so one of the things that I really like about the game is that it's, uh, to me, one of the things I had an issue with with Minecraft is that it's it was too much. Like Minecraft was like, here's the world, do whatever you want, uh, which is kind of overwhelming. Um, it's like getting a Lego set without instructions. For some people that's great, but for me it doesn't work. Um, and one of the things I like about this is that there's a lot of guidance and a lot of direction, and honestly the story is pretty darn compelling. Now Victor, you've said you really like this one, right? Yes, I, I think the story is real cool. Like how the Ark Illager is shunned by his kind, the Illagers, and even by the villagers themselves. And he goes on a huge journey, dying, almost almost dying several times, until he finally comes across the Orb of Dominance and becomes an evil overlord. Yeah, which is kind of crazy, right? Because, like, it's... The, the Illagers in Minecraft proper, they don't, they don't really have a story behind them, right? They're yeah, just they kinda... just... You... They just raid villagers. So, Meredith, what have, what have you enjoyed about the game? I like the fact that, first of all, I'm not a serious gamer, and the easy level is almost too easy for me. Um, I really enjoy the fact that you can uh, add different enchantments and different improvements to your weapons and armor, what you're wearing. It's very, it's almost like you're cosplaying different things when you put on different armors too. It's really, it's really fun. Yeah, to me, it, it's one of the things I appreciate about it is it, it feels like uh, someone at Mojang or Microsoft is a big D&D fan and wanted to slap that on a Minecraft coat of paint. So you're getting all these neat weapons and items and armors and all this other stuff in the game that, that makes each character your own. It's not just a skin pack you're downloading or an item you're crafting. It's something that you're you're making unique to your character. Now, uh, Victor, what what have you found in the game so far? Like, what are some of the items that you've really liked? Um, that I've really liked? Yes, that you really liked. Um, so I have a fiery axe called the Firebrand. Yeah. You'll see that. It automatically has fire aspect, so it does fire damage. I like the Grave Bane, which is that golden glaive that you see in the game. It's very similar to the axe, but instead of having fire aspect, um, it has smite, so it does extra damage to undead, such as skeletons and and um, zombies. And boy howdy, are there skeletons and zombies aplenty in this game. <laughs> yes! Um, so one, one of the neat things I like, Meredith, is uh, the different enchantments you can get that you can add to the different weapons, because not only do you get these neat weapons that you can apply to your character, or this armor that you can apply to your character to make them look different, you can also add these different enchantments on that do different things. Like, what are some of the things you've seen in the game for enchantments that you really like? Um... I was talking to mom. Oh. I know you're excited, <laughs> but let me talk to mom on this. I know everything. So let me answer a couple things that I know. I... <laughs> so some of the things that I uh, have used, let's see, I used the glaive and different armors, but in, in response to your question though, you, when you go into it and it gives you different options to choose from, it's kind of almost like a, um, like a skill tree and you can build on certain things. So like if you use one enchantment stone or whatever it's called, you can get like a 10% knockback or uh, then you use two enchantments and you can upgrade that to 20% knockback or... If you have multiple enchantment stones that you can get, you can eat on my firebrand, 
I have sharpness, so it does extra damage, and I also have chains, which makes my enemies unable to move for up to three seconds. It's really good. So different armors and different weapons take different enchantment, like skill trees. Um, you can increase different defenses as well as, as well as attacks, and it's really neat because weapons, depending on which weapon you pick up, can have different enchantments available to it. And it's even if it's the same weapon, like you pick up a common bow, one common bow will have certain enchantments, and then the next common bow you pick up will have different ones. So each time you pick up a common bow, it could be different. It doesn't have to be the same every time. Yeah, so this, this game is definitely something that I appreciate uh, because I like dungeon crawlers. I've been playing dungeon crawler games for literally decades now. I started with you know the old Ultima uh, online and the first Diablo and stuff like that. And as great a game as Diablo 3 is, Diablo 3 is an M-rated game, and I can't share that with Victor because it's too violent, and it's a little bit complex for Meredith, and I think you would have been overwhelmed with it. Mm -hmm. But this is something that all three of us picked up and were immediately just over you know, over the moon with because it's so much fun. It is. It's so much fun. Now, Victor, let's, let's talk about the visuals here, okay? Let's talk about how the game looks. Because one of the things I really appreciate about it, and you've played it on the Switch, so I want I want you to do some comparing and contrasting here. The thing I really like about it on the Xbox is how beautiful like the lighting effects and everything like that are, and the water effects. So many neat, interesting things that happen in combat with the different spells and the abilities you can gain. But comparing the Switch and the Xbox, do they compare? Is one significantly better than the other? I think that the Xbox has better visuals, mm -hmm. but the Switch, it's slightly easier to control, to be honest, because um, it's smaller, you don't have to look up from your controller to see what's on the screen, and you sometimes, if you're not an experienced gamer, with that kind of stuff, you can't really see the controller, so you're just pressing random buttons that you don't mean to do. Like sometimes on the Xbox, I accidentally, I accidentally press the health potion. So Meredith, I know you had you had a, a slight learning curve when you first started playing with with some of the different stuff. W was that game design, or was that just being unfamiliar with the Xbox? That's mostly being unfamiliar with the Xbox. Now, we had switched the controls so the A, B, and the X, Y were opposite, so it's more like the Nintendo controls, which did help me out. But when you go in and you have different weapons equipped, it'll tell you which button push, and it's opposite on the controller. So that was a little difficult, I think, in this particular case, because I tend to look down on my controller rather than just rely on muscle memory. It's actually harder to have the controller swapped. So I think going forward, I'm going to try it without having the controller button swapped. But I, until I play a game for a long time, I always tend to second guess myself. And I always look down on my controller. But it'll get better, I think. And it's, it's definitely a game that you're going to replay the levels anyway. So it's something that will begin to just become muscle memory and I'll not second guess myself anymore. Uh, one of the things I really like about the game is that there's a ton of levels to choose from, and despite the fact that the levels are identical every time you go in, it's always the same layout, the same monsters, same everything, there's replay value built in because each level has a different has a, a sliding scale of difficulty levels you can choose from, and there's completely random loot drops as you play. You're not guaranteed to get the same thing every time, although there are certain key pieces of kit that you can get, like different artifacts or different equipment and things like that that are guaranteed to be in there which is really neat. And one thing that we did notice when we were looking at the world map, it looks like there's some DLC built in with some island adventures coming in, which we're really excited about. Usually when DLC is already implied right from the word jump, I'm, I'm a little bit kind of bummed by it, but this one, this is good. This is this is a fun game. Now, Victor, you've really loved this game. And I've, I've got to ask, because I haven't asked this yet and I don't, I don't know the answer, and I, I have a feeling I'm gonna be set up for a surprise here. Do you like this more than regular Minecraft? Yes. Wow. I love me some regular Minecraft, but this, I might even like this more than Pokemon. And that is a big So can craze. I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. Do you think that you like this more than Pokemon or regular Minecraft just because it's new and shiny? Or because it has more to offer? Personally, I think it's about an equal to Pokemon because... Minecraft, you can do literally anything, and to be honest, I like 
that you can build just about anything but on most systems you can't get any mods unless you're on like the PC or something so there's not enough mobs to fight like I've beaten the wither seven times and the ender dragon twice and I'm kind of bored of it I've defeated an army of ravagers I've saved a desert village from pillagers I'm I am done with regular Minecraft besides the building. Is this game um, more than two players? Can you play three or four players? Yeah, you can do it's four player game. Or you so can do an online game. There's even more incentive for it because it's I mean, well Minecraft you can play multiplayer as well. Yeah. But this one's kinda cool because it's something that we all like. It's very family friendly. You can set your levels of difficulty. And, and you can keep growing and going, which is really cool. I'm really excited for the DLC. Cool. Well, so Minecraft is available everywhere right now. It's $20 on any digital store you want, uh, or you can get it on Xbox Game Pass for free if you have that subscription right now, which, again, I cannot recommend Game Pass enough. If you don't have it, get it. And with Game Pass Ultimate, you can get it both on the Xbox One and on the PC right now, which is fantastic. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this review. Uh, as you can tell by the glowing review here, yeah, we do all recommend this game. We do think it's something you should pick up. And thank you for enjoying this and listening to this. This is the first time we've had the whole family doing something, and we will all be back doing more in the future. I know Victor and I have got some Dragon Quest Builders too. we want to play down the road. Woohoo! Uh, so do be looking out for more stuff from Victor, Meredith, and I as we keep going, and even, maybe even from Tessie. Maybe we can get her to play something. Probably not. <laughs> She's going to push the joystick with her nose. <laughs> <laughs> but until next time, guys, do more of what you love. Stay positive, wash your hands, be safe, and play more games. Bye! Bye.